I don't know. I feel like this is fitting today. A headband. But it looks like a tiara. And I like that. I respect it. <laughs> Hi and welcome back to my channel. Today we're doing something stupid again. <sighs> I like my nails so much. A few weeks ago I cut my hair off because it was extremely damaged. But also more so because I found a really really fun way of cutting it myself. Yeah, I cut my hair with uh, hair clippers, hair shaver, whatever you want to say. I cut my hair pretty straight, pretty blunt by myself last time and it was incredible. I loved every single thing about that video. I loved every single thing about the procedure. I love doing things myself that typically you'd have to go to other people to do. Showing no shade to the service people. I respect them. I really love them. But I do like trying to do things myself just to see how much I can accomplish by myself. Yeah, I think it looks super, super full and lush and oh, I love blunt bobs. However, when I cut it last time, I basically cut my hair super, super one length. On any other length of hair, a one length haircut is what you'd like to go for. It's a very, very trendy, super uh, flattering haircut that looks great on many people. Any haircut above the shoulder, however, it's ideal to go for something a bit more A-like. When it's shorter in the back, longer in the front. It's basically parallel to the jaw, which I think looks really sick. That's not the case. My jaw is like this and my hair is like Mwah. I've been meaning to fix it for quite a while. I really like the length at the back, but then I really wish my front bits were longer. Today I'm going to be reattempting this incredible haircut once again on myself, by myself, with myself. Try to shorten my back length a bit without really touching the front bits it's like quite back heavy it's quite back heavy i did i didn't do the best job last time we're gonna try go for like uh there if you want to see this video and see whether i fluck it up or ruin it again or not then keep watching hopefully hopefully i don't i mean i've done this twice now Hopefully I, I know better. I'm gonna be using my monitor to, to see myself. So, oh look, in the bag of Doritos. I'm not wearing any lashes or eyeliner today. I feel so stripped naked. Oh my God. Next up, gown time. Oh, I don't wanna do this again. It was so stressful last time. Okay, so I'm gonna do it exactly the same as last time where in I'm going to separate most of my hair, leaving literally just tiniest sliver of hair and then cutting that and then using that as my guideline. This is my hair at the moment. It's actually a really freaking cute color. I really dig it. It's like soft baby pink. I'm just gonna go for it and see, see what happens. That's horrible. Why do I have a little hole in my hair? I have a little hole in my hair. I don't know how much I'm actually taking off the back. I feel like I should be going shorter. I realized if I wanted it to match my front, I probably should match it to my front. It's a bit better, but I'm not sure. Okay, this part will definitely have to. Somehow I said I'm not going to touch the front, and it's literally what I'm cutting right now. This feels good to me. Okay, 
so this side looks longer to me which I'm a bit concerned about because it shouldn't be longer I'm gonna leave it like that because I'm gonna get too fussy and I barely started my hair yet. <laughs> So this back portion all needs to be hopefully cut because it is very long. No. So that line below is my guideline and I need to trim all of that to that length. Feels better. Feels really soft. Ah, it's not straight. I know that much. I don't need to have eyes on the back of my head to tell you. It's not straight. I like it and I'm not gonna fuss anymore again. <laughs> The side looks longer. It is longer. Oh my god, so long. I'll take it. Okay, so with this last section, you could really and truly see what I was on about, where it was just like planing backwards, which is obviously not what I was going for. So let's let's fix it one last time. Ran out of battery and I still look stupid. Oh my god. No. All along the west sun. Invisible trains. Tell you. Feels better, I can say that much. Oh, I love freshly cut hair. Oh my god. This I like. This side's fine. This is actually exactly what I wanted. The front is a bit longer than the back. There's this weird triangular piece of hair that I'm trying to figure out where it is.
And that, ladies and gentlemen, is all the bloody thing I'm gonna do today. Oh my god, I've been doing this for an hour. Solid, I kid you not. Oh my god, my entire face is I got more or less what I was going for. The length in general is just a smidge shorter. Wait, what are you? It feels very soft. It feels extremely soft. Did I do the thing that I was hoping I would achieve? It's kind of... No, I did I mean, on this side I didn't. On this side I did-ish. Uh, but I am actually too tired to do anything. I let it grow out a bit longer and then I'll probably go to like a stylist. That is that is the idea. Give this a go if you want to do it. I don't recommend it if you're not too confident or more than anything, uh, if you actually care about your hair, don't do it. It'll There's a good chance it might, may, probably will go bad. But yeah, I like it. It's kind of fun. It's kind of neat. It's... I'm not gonna say it's an easy way to cut your hair at home. I'm not even gonna say it's the best way to cut your hair at home. It might be the funnest way to cut your hair at home because it is going to give you a drastic change regardless of what length you end up with because it's always going to give you a super blunt uh, cut. I respect the art of the cut. Why? <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you'll give it a go and I will see you in my next video.